on that. Uh, uh, final, uh, the touchdown that passed that Rogers had to tie Brett Favre. Uh, what went through your mind when you were able to hand him that ball? Uh, I actually didn't even know that he had tied it. Uh, I, I always give my touchdown balls to my mom, so that's something I like to do, give the, give the guys their touchdown ball when they score. And I checked with the fish, I was like, can I give him the ball? He's like, yeah. So I took it and gave it to him. I was totally unaware, so that's pretty cool. Were you guys aware after that point that one more would have been the record by his lonesome? I, know. I heard somebody like when we was running off, I think it was NVS say, like, that's the record or something like that. And Aaron, I was like, no, we got one more. We tied it, we got one more. Did he say anything to you when you gave it to him? Uh, no, I, I, mean, I think that we were just caught up in the, in the t uh, that we scored. We didn't even think anything of it at the time. I know you guys have bigger fish to try. You weren't going to take that number one seed in the NFC, but how does it feel to lock up the NFC North today? Uh, it feels good. That's where it starts at. It starts with the North, and now, uh, now we, like you said, got a bigger fish to fry. Got to continue to put in that work, uh, take it one game at a time, and uh, we'll get there. What was going through your mind uh, sitting on the sidelines as Baltimore was moving and then going for two to try to win? Uh, just trusting the defense. They put in all this work, uh, all this time to lead up to this point. So, uh, you know, that's all you can do is trust them and uh, hopefully they go out there and make a play, which they did. And uh, it, all, it worked out in our favor. So um, kudos to them. You know, they, they put in a whole bunch of work and continue to work, so I'm proud of those guys. And you guys have a great record, obviously. Does it ever feel like it's just not easy, though? It's just kind of the whole season, just the games have just not been easy? Oh, definitely. You know, you the, those guys on the other side get paid as well, and they, they that's a good team. And we played a lot of good teams this year, um, a lot of close games, one possession games. Um, but we always find a way to come out, and I think that's a test of a good team. Does it feel like team? this offense is clicking right now? Uh, yes, in a way, yes. I feel like we're clicking. Uh, we, we still can get better, but uh, I think I feel like we're starting to pick it up. So what, what ways do you think you can get better yet? Uh, just ex extending drives, uh, keeping A-Rod clean as possible, and uh, just, you know, if it's, not a, if it's not a perfect game, you're not perfect. So there's always room for improvement. Okay. When, when they went for two, what were you thinking? Were you happy they made that choice? Were you wishing they would just get them to go to overtime? Like, what, you, what were you thinking? Uh, I really didn't have any like feeling I'm like hey if they if they don't get this we win if they uh if they get if they get this then we got to be ready to go down and uh two minute uh quick two minute drive and try to get a field goal up or a touchdown um that, that's just all the thing that was going through through my head and once they uh, didn't get it it was a, a breath of fresh air <laughs> Aaron what was this whole week like with all the COVID cases league-wide I know you didn't have as many here but Baltimore had some and just seeing that many people test positive and the protocol of being impacted. What was it like going through the week up to this point? Uh, crazy. Uh, you know, Coach LaFleur and them are trying to communicate as best as they can with us and to let us know what's going on. Um, but if, I feel like if you're not on social media, sometimes you're you're out of there. Like, uh, I think it was Tuesday, Wednesday. Well, whenever they changed the protocol, I hadn't been on my phone or really anything. And um, somebody asked me about the protocol, and I'm like, uh, what's going on? And so then we, we end up meeting about it and coach talked to us about it. But uh, it, it was definitely a tough week. Uh, like you said, we didn't have too many people. Uh, I was out sick with a stomach bug. But, uh, you know, our backs did a great job stepping in and filling in for me. And um, it showed tonight. AJ did a great job tonight. Aaron, it's going to be almost impossible for Aaron Rodgers to match his numbers from a year ago. But do you think on some level he's playing at that high level again? I mean, he's put himself in potential for another MVP. Do you, do you think he's right there again? Yes, sir, I definitely do. Uh, playing just at the same, like you said last year, at the same high level as he was last year, uh, leading his team to wins, and he looks good doing it, too. The offensive line has been completely decimated, but there were so many holes where you got a few big runs that it felt like you were just one step away from breaking off. One step. <laughs> one step one away step. from breaking <laughs> off a big one. What can you say about what that line has done for you guys all year? Um. Steno does a great job with those guys, and um, I always let those guys know, and they know themselves that it all starts with them up front. If 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 they don't come out ready to play, we can't we can't run the ball, we can't get a pass off. So it all starts with them, and uh, I'm I'm just so proud of each and every one of them. You know, they they never take a playoff. Uh, one player goes down, the next person steps up, and um, and they gel like one. Do you really feel like you're kind of back to full capacity because as you just said one step away from a big. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm right there. Uh, I, I need to break another long one. I'm right there, though. Did you teach Mercedes how to hit the circle button? 
I, 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 I can't take credit for that. <laughs> uh, I think he rewound the clock a little bit uh, going back into his younger, year, younger years. But uh, you can just see how bad Big Dog wants to get in the end zone. And uh, he, he's running hard, and I love it. How keenly aware are you of, of the momentum shifts within the game? And when you had to settle for that field goal to go up two scores, did you have any inkling that that would be coming big later in the game? Uh, you know, so, you know, we never want to leave points uh, on the board, and that's another part where I said we can, our offense can continue to get better, score in the red zone, uh, extend draws. But we score in the red zone, we kind of don't have to worry about that. So we, we would have took the pressure off of ourselves a little bit. But um, at the end of the day, it's our, a team sport, and we had to depend on our defense, and they got the job done. Which hat you wearing out of here, that or the sombrero? Uh, so I'm going to wear the sombrero and throw this on top of the sombrero. About some of like the, the COVID cases that they're kind of before, um, they had a bunch of bad luck with that this week. And like, you know, were you seeing names and faces and numbers in their secondary that you hadn't seen on film all weekend? Like, what's that like to try to prepare for guys that you haven't seen before? Um, I mean, I, I know some of those guys. My brother used to play here, so uh, some of the older guys like Tony Jefferson, who came in and played, and uh, Levine, Cocap. I, I knew a couple of those guys. Uh, so it wasn't that new to me, but. Uh, you, of course, you hadn't seen him on film uh, for much much of the year, um, but you know you just got to go out there and play, and you got to, you know, they're on the the field for a reason. They can play as well. There were a couple of huge plays to NBS tonight. Take us through them from your point of view. What what did you see from where you were standing? Uh, one of them, I was blocking, and I kind of just looked back, looked back at A Rod and followed the ball where it was going. I see uh, MVS on a post and catches, and I'm like, let's go. Uh, I think the second one was like on a third down. He caught it on the right side of the field. Um, huge play. He had a defender right there, and he was just a spark that we needed, you know. Um, I'm glad he was able to suit up and get out there, and uh, he, he was definitely a big spark for us. We saw Two a few, more for Aaron. We saw a few different guys out there on returns tonight, and after last week, Matt had mentioned that some vets would have to get involved on special teams. We saw you out there for one. Does that mean that you guys kind of ran through and talked a lot about this week? Uh, so I'm a, I've always been the deep returner on hands team. So we were in, in hands. Uh, Patrick Taylor's taking a couple snaps for me on hands. Um, but he was like, hey, it's hands. So I was like, OK, let me get out there and um, catch this ball and get as many as I can. So uh, I like being back there, and it's fun. I don't know if that's some records here and one more for the touchdown record. But I don't know, did you Matt before with one win to tie the all-time first three seasons Record in the NFL. Are you guys aware of that? And what has he done to keep getting shirts and hats every season? Uh, no, sir, I wasn't aware of that at all, which is a, a great accomplishment. Uh, kudos to Coach LaFleur and the great job he's done here. Uh, he gets us ready to play each and every week. And uh, I, I think it, his rec the record shows itself that uh, he do he's a good coach and he, he gets us ready each and every week.